Hi, this is Dan. Today I'd like to play a game of 5-Minute Blitz Chess on FICS, the free internet chess server. So my opponent opened pawn to e4, and I answered pawn to e6, the French defense. And my opponent played pawn to f4, and I continue pawn to d5, attacking white's central pawn on e4. And I continued again pawn to c5, and now uh, my knight will go to c6. So you'll often see this in the French defense, that the knight will go to c6 after the pawn on c7 has moved to c5. And uh, now my queen, I move my queen to b6. Now white's bishop on c1 can't move without my queen capturing the pawn on b2. Okay, so let's uh, move my knight to e7 with the plan of going to f5. And... Uh, now, White is thinking, so both players just have five minutes to complete this game, which is a very, very short amount of time. And um, so that means you just have to think really quickly. Sometimes, you know, you will make a mistake, but that's okay. That's just part of playing, playing chess, and especially part of playing chess so quickly like this. So let's, uh, let's move pawn to g6, preparing to move the bishop to... oops. I wanted to move my bishop to g7, but I moved too quickly, so my bishop's over on h6 now. That's alright. So let's see what, what white decides to do. So the bishop on h6 probably was not the best, but it could be okay. Let's see what happens. In this game also, you know, when you're when you're playing a very quick game, even if it looks like you're losing, just keep playing because your opponent could always make a mistake. So now my bishop's back on g7. So let's castle. And then uh, think about where to go from here. Okay, so queen goes there. So let's... Uh, I don't like my knight on e7. Oh, let's let's move the knight on e7 over to f5. This attacks the queen also. And uh, white needs to decide what to do about the queen. Okay. So I think we can move this knight on c6 over to d4. And now white has the option of trading knights here. Okay, so my knight on f5 comes over to d4, and I think now I'll go back to f5. I could have traded for the bishop, but I think my knight is better than the bishop. So, now it's white's turn again to think. So right now I think both players are fine. Both players are okay. Um, I definitely have a good chance to win this game. Okay, so the bishop goes there, so I think I'll move my bishop over to c6. Now if the pawn on d5 moves, it would actually be a check because the, the bishop is behind the pawn and the king over on h1 would be attacked. So let's see, okay, so white, white sees that and decides to move the bishop to f3. Okay. Well, let's, let's move the pawn to d4 anyway. And now white has the option to trade bishops. And if I recapture on c6, it would be a check. So white would have to answer the check. So I think right now... Huh. Let's just play slowly. Let's move the rook over to d8. Um, the rook might be a little stronger there. And, uh, let's, let's move this rook over to e8. Now my bishop on g7 has a little bit more space. It could go to f8 if it wants to. Okay, so, and now I think... Huh. Let's... Well, let's, let's, let's trade bishops. It's okay. So I'll capture on f3. And then um, the queen will recapture, okay. And then let's attack the queen by playing knight to h4 and see where white decides to go with the queen. 
So the queen goes back. Uh, I'll bring my knight back. And let's see if white decides to move the queen or move a different piece. Okay, so the the knight goes over to uh, to e4. Hmm. <clears throat> so I think maybe I can play pawn. Or, sorry, queen to c6. This move is it does two things. Now the knight on e4 is pinned, so it can't move because the king would be in check if it moved. And the second thing is that now my pawn on b7 can move. So let's move. First move the pawn to a6. And then. Oh, this is a check. Okay, we gotta take that. We gotta take that knight. And then we'll move the pawn to. b5. Give white the choice of trading pawns on b5. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay. Actually, hmm. Okay. So let's let's close the position. Let's move the pawn to b4. And now the bishop on d2 for white is a little bit weaker because of that move. And let's play pawn to a5. So so white's bishop is not so great uh, right now. So I probably don't want to trade the bishop. I think I'll just continue to... Uh, what I really want to do is find a way to use my rooks. So maybe if I move this rook over to a8 and then push the pawn to a4 now the queen and the rook both protect a4. So I think this is a good plan. Okay, so let's let's recapture with the rook. And then my other rook, if, if I need to, can come over to a8. Let's try that. And it looks like white's trying to attack me over on the king side. So actually I may do well to trade some pieces over there, I'm not sure. But first, I think I will... Well, let's play this move, pawn to b3. And see how white decides to answer. White can't capture the pawn because then my rook would take white's rook with check. So... So I like this idea to attack on the queen side. Okay, let's just uh, take the... Take the pawn with the rook. And now if white captures my rook and I can recapture with the pawn, and that pawn really has a good chance of, of becoming a queen, of promoting. Okay, let's play pawn rook to a1. Now the rook on f1 is pinned. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's take the rook. And now let's see how white wants to recapture. If the queen leaves to capture the rook, then I could have captured the bishop with my knight. So I think right now I can check on a1. Okay. And let's see, what's my plan? Now it looks like this pawn is really strong on b2, so let's see if I can get a new queen. So black, uh, white is down to just 32 seconds. Really? Okay. So... Okay. So we get a queen. So does white have a plan here to attack? Okay. So I think it looks like the move would be queen to e1. And actually that's a checkmate. So I was able to win that game. And uh, you can see when you play these fast games, you have to think really quickly. So. Luckily, I, I didn't make any big mistakes in that game, and I did. I was able to find a checkmate at the end. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll share another video very soon. Thank you very much.